Kotel Jump's Gamer Talk Podcast. Hello listeners, gamers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet. Welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Blasting Ghost Recon goodness. Right out of northern Arizona, somewhere in Washington. From the inside of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, this is season number two, episode 145. You're listening to a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games. I'm your host, Chris. And today the full crew is here. Hey, want to win that money? Want to win that money? Then send us your origin stories or video or drawing. Send them in. Send them to thejokerdrone at gmail.com. Let's get this show started. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. All right, let's start off this week with Joe. Joe, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm going to be killing off the beers that were left from the weekend trip. So I got a uh, Hop Knot IPA from Four Peaks and Pitchfork Pale Ale. So I got my basic bitch kit going on right now. Um, as far as what I've been playing, John. Are you recording? I am. Okay. I am too. I've been recording since... Since right. I just normally we make an announcement. I just wanted to verify. I'm recording. Thank you. I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not far... recording. I'm not recording either. <laughs> as far as what I've been playing, um, let's see. The end of last week, I played a little bit of Fallout, and then I downloaded the Car Mechanic Simulator on the Xbox. And um, was it realistic? It actually is. I really wish it was in VR. I really do. That would be it, pretty cool. It's, I mean, lug nuts, tires, everything. Like, you can't just go and fix something. You have to remove you headlights. Know, you have to remove a, you have to remove a front uh, passenger wheel and driver's side wheel in order to replace a headlight bulb. Well, I'm not going to go. I, I haven't worked on any uh, GMCs yet, but they've all been uh, European cars. Go, go 07 Acadia, see what happens. <laughs> But I enjoy the hell out of it. Um, does it then, have a tutorial? Like, yeah. Or does it does it have like manuals? This is how to do it. No, it just when you highlight what you want to get to, it highlights everything else that you have to take off in red. Hmm. So if you want to take off brake pads, it highlights the tire, you know, the the caliper, and it, you know highlights everything that you have to take off. Uh, how realistic is the simulation? Do you ever have bolts that are really j- stuck on there? No, oh, no. Okay. I mean, as soon as it's zip, 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 and it comes off, it's yeah. Wow. Well, that sucks. But it does have a skill tree <laughs> where you can um, upgrade how fast you remove the bolts and screw them in. So, wow, <laughs> it's it it's a simulator. Tree. It's a, yeah, it's a simulator. So enjoyed that, and then um, I've been playing Breakpoint since yesterday. So next. Sweet. All right. Moving on over to Miguel. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? John's proud of me. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Woo! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go corn syrup. <laughs> Play Mortal Kombat and Breakpoint. And I think that's pretty much it. Sweet. Oh, we did play golf over the weekend. Um, yes, we did. That was fun. As well as Joe and John mm, played Madden. Madden. Yeah. And golf club. Yeah. That's what golf. you meant. Golf club and magic. Yeah. yeah. And and we played golf too. We'll and, get to that in rando. Okay. Sweet. All right. We're going to move on over to John. John, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking Bodie's Zaffa IPA. And this week I played Overwatch, Madden with Joe, um, Golf Club with Joe and Miguel, uh, 
Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, I think that's it. Did I miss anything? Oh, I did play against Miguel in Mortal Kombat for one match and turned it off because I hated it. Yes, Miguel. Did you play Overwatch on your new One X at home, not yeah. on? Yes, I did. Huh. How was that? It was nice. Did it look any different? I'm still using the same TV. Oh, okay. It's mm-hmm. still a 1080p, 23 inch TV. Okay. Which is the same one I'm using right now. It's only about this big. So for the audio listeners, that's what? <laughs> well, 23 it's a- inches. <laughs> it's okay. Even for the video watchers, his hands were out of the camera. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is big. <laughs> it's this big. Well, yeah, when you sit five inches from it, of course it's going to be big. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It's not very big. That's where she said. Uh, that's it. What about you, Chris? All right. Uh, let's see. Right now I'm drinking some water. And uh, this week I played some Fallout 76. And then uh, on my uh, Switch, just played some Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. And that's it. <laughs> that is pretty much me this week. Joe, you ready for the news, buddy? <laughs> Deuce's Weekly News, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. All right, if you want to call it news, uh, you'll soon be able to use your Oculus Quest VR headset on a PC. So it's a technology called Oculus Link. Uh, Somebody's microwave is just finished. Um, I think that was mine. Oh, okay. Getting more of those mini tacos going? Probably. Yep. Good shit. Maybe it was Miguel's. Miguel looks guilty. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so yeah, Oculus had their presentation, Oculus Connect, and there will be a thing called Oculus Link. And it's a high-quality USB 3 cable, and you'll be able to link it to your pussy. PC, I mean. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next article. Um, Sony, who seems to be, I don't know, maybe hurting for money. But we'll see. Uh, they, cut, they cut the PlayStation Now price in half, and they added GTA 5 and God of War for a limited time. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what the half was. I think it was twenty dollars. Now it's ten dollars. Yeah, it's ten dollars a month where it was twenty. And starting today, PS PlayStation Now in the U.S. is ten dollars a month, twenty-five quarterly, sixty dollars a year. You mean like everybody else that plays Xbox? <gasps> um, yeah. Uh, four titles are available from today, October first. Well from October 1st to January 20th or excuse me, January 2nd, 2020. And each month, just like game pass on Xbox, they'll be adding more titles for a limited time. But right now it's GTA five, God of war, infamous second son and uncharted four. Xbox isn't limited time. It's forever. Well, well, the games rotate off of game pass. Do they? Mm. Yes. There's a section under the Microsoft Store that says "Leaving Soon." Oh, okay. I never use it, so. But the the Xbox owned games stay forever, yes. right? Yes. Gears those are the ones that those are the ones that matter. Yes. Forever. Um. More Sony shit. Sony veteran Sean, uh, voice mouse voice Layden, is leaving PlayStation. I called him mouse voice. I said, I don't like him. He's the reason why oh. I don't watch the, the conferences. Because uh, he doesn't know shit about video games. So maybe uh, Sony will stay, take a step in the right direction. So he's been there for 32 years and he's suddenly departing, which I think that they said you can either leave voluntarily or you're going to be fired. So anyway. You're fired. 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 Well, I mean, Next. Sony's going in the right direction, right, Joe? I mean, Spider-Man's with Marvel again. 
Is that on your news today, Joe? Uh, uh, on today's news, fuck Sony. Um, <laughs> anyway, they they're baby steps. Okay, I'll take baby steps. Next up, uh, this may make this may uh, <laughs> setbacks, but what? Baby steps. You didn't move in any in any direction. Fuck Sony last week. Fuck Sony this week. What's the difference? There's no stepping. No, not me making baby steps. Sony's making baby steps in the right direction. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I get it now. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Let me clarify that. Um, <laughs> so you're still solid on fuck. I'm Sony. still still solid on still, fuck Sony. I haven't turned on my Sony. PlayStation. Okay. Still got dust all over it. Anyway, Sony, Sega, and Warner have been exploiting the UK's video game tax relief to avoid paying millions in taxes. Dum, dum, dum. So, an investigation by The Guardian into UK's video game tax relief, or BGTR, intended to allow <coughs> smaller game developers to claim back up to 20% of certain costs. So, and they have revealed that it's mostly been benefiting the biggest players. Sony has claimed almost 30 million pounds in corporate tax relief. So, uh, Sega is not too far behind with 20 million pounds. Warner Brothers uh, owner Warner Media is well ahead of the pack with 60 million pounds of tax relief rebate claimed That's heavy. over the years. The bigger claims amounting to around 500 pounds per claim were submitted by large-scale publishers. So it's going to be time to pay up, sucker. Uh, and GTA Rockstar or GTA Maker Rockstar has claimed forty-two million pounds. So next, uh, I don't know if this is a rumor, or report. Well, it says report, but according to sources, that uh, the PS5 in the Scarlet will feature cameras, and they were they will focus on streaming. So. Images leaked of the PS5 dev kit before the design itself was discovered, and it looks like shit. Um, PS5's code name said to be Prospero. Anyway. Dev kits usually look like shit, though. So. Yeah, they all do. Um, they said that Scarlet's camera is so good, in fact, Microsoft has reportedly uh, demoed it with the help of a Snapchat-style demo that changes the scene to match in-game lighting. By comparison, the PS5's camera was described as older tech. <laughs> um, Sony. Yeah. Anyway, ray tracing was another point uh, that the leaker, I don't know who the leaker is, but they touched on much of what they, uh, they told the site didn't make it to print. What they did share, however, was that each console has apparent, has its own approach to ray tracing which is interesting for a variety of reasons, not least of which because both units reportedly use AMD hardware. So the computational power is also said to be the largest ever between generations. Huge. Next. PUBG supports crossplay on Xbox One and PS4. Next. Um... <laughs> Dishonored 2, Fallout New Vegas, and Ukulele, John, uh, <clears throat> will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. So when you I know you've been burning to, to play ukulele. I don't think John remembers what ukulele is. That's a small guitar. It's it's like a kitty game like uh Banjo kazooie. Anyway. The ukulele is a small guitar. So these are all for October, uh, starting on the third, October third tomorrow, the release of Dishonored Two, which will be Xbox One X enhanced. Um, the following week, next week, two titles: Ukulele and Xbox One X enhanced title World War Z. And uh, the backward compatible titles Fallout New Vegas and Panzer Dragoon Orta arrive on the seventeenth. That's all I got for the news. Sweet. All right. Uh, time to figure out what the hell I'm going to buy next week. Miguel, you ready, buddy? You're not buying anything. I already bought it. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Strategy. 
<laughs> it was a smart move. <laughs> Well, he's like, I know. He's like, Miguel's gonna be impatient. I'm you, not gonna buy this. He just you held out. On, you did that on purpose so Joe would almost die right there, right? Because that's exactly why you did that, huh? You had a plan to say it that way. What I'm gonna buy next week? Um, I was watching your gonna... comment. <laughs> what? I already bought it, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Demonic States, keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Coming out over the next week, October 2nd, we have We Are Here 2 on Xbox, In Between on PlayStation, Ling on PlayStation, Neo Cab on Switch, Northguard on PlayStation, The Eyes of Ara on Switch, Ghost Recon Breakpoint on Woo! Xbox and PlayStation. Ghostbusters, the video game remastered on Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Beep Beep Deliveries on PlayStation. North Guard on the 4th now for Xbox. Yes, John. Beep Beep Deliveries. Yes. Is it literally like the word beep? Like beep, beep? Or is it like bleeped out? No, it, it's like the literally the word beep, exclamation point, beep, exclamation point, deliveries. It would have been better if it was like bleeped out, bleeped out, deliveries. You'd, you'd be better if you were bleeped out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> October 8th, Trine 4, The Nightmare Prince on Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Indivisible, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, Atlas, Joe. Joe, Atlas, on Xbox. Concrete Genie on PlayStation. Call of Cthulhu on Switch. I'm just going to get a... Burger Time Party on Switch. Right. Bradwell Conspiracy on PlayStation. Say hi. And that's it. Hello. Ryan says hi. Now get out. (laughs) <laughs> okay, Dad. Don't hit me. What? That is, that's not getting out. I told him to get his paper. Oh, get out. Okay. Make sure you I close just... the printer. Close it. Close it. All right. Get out. Love you. Close the door. Close the door. What do you know? All the way, dummy. That's everything coming out this week. I think we're ready for uh, the more you know with the Joker drone. I think we just got a lot of information right there. Whole lot of yelling. Whole lot of get out, get out. What else do you have for us, John? Yeah, yeah, John. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Come on down. It's time for the more you know with the Joker drone. This week on The More You Know, thank you for the segue, Miguel. Uh, We have one week left uh, for our contest. So far, we have one winner. Last week, I said we only had two more weeks. Joe, don't make that face. Your camera moved. Oh, yeah, it did. I don't know how that happened. (laughs) That's why I was making my face. I'm like, just turn down real quick, and I'm like, what the fuck is he trying to do? Use the force. Touching it. Why is it moving? Turn down for what? Are you kicking the cable? No, it's on top of my leg. All right. uh, We have one more week for the contest. $100 for first place, $50 for second. Miguel's used socks for third. Congratulations, Um, Earl. And Earl, so far, is the only person who has entered. So literally, send us something, and you're probably going to win a prize. Uh, That's it for the contest. Uh, Ooh. Excuse me. Uh, this past weekend, I went down to Phoenix and hung out with the... What the heck is going on? Why is it moving? I don't know what... Oh, yep. My foot's on top of it. Sorry. No, it's there on top go. of my leg. I'm not well, kicking it. There's, different. there's another real cord fun. on top of my leg. That was my key, my key, keyboard cord. <laughs> um, I went down to Phoenix, hung out with the drones, and went to a Cardinals game. We played Top Golf twice yeah we went out on saturday and sunday 
at Top Golf. Um, had a lot of beer. Had a really good time. Thanks, guys, for picking me up from the airport and hosting. And uh, go Hawks! Twas fun. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, twas. Do you want to talk about it at all? We can. Uh, oh, oh, we're gonna we're uh, gonna talk about it now or during rando or. Well, since I don't have anything else to talk about, it seemed like a good time. Sure. But if you want to wait till rando, we can wait till rando. That's up to you. I don't I don't care really. We can talk about it, sure. Why not? Uh Doug, my buddy who lives in Mesa. Mm-hmm. Uh normally when I go down I stay with him. Uh but this year I stayed at the hotel with Miguel and Joe. Uh and I text Doug and told him what the plan was. He said cool. So then I kept texting him on saturday morning trying to talk to him and he didn't respond for like 10 hours and i was like is doug mad at me because i'm not staying with them and i was like i don't know what's going on finally he calls me back at like 6 30 at night we're at top golf turns out doug got stung by a scorpion in the back of his leg so he was just out of it all day saturday he lost feeling in his left arm and like even on sunday he said his fingers were still tingly and he wasn't doing super hot, but he came to the game and he hung out and he uh, was a trooper and trooper. Seahawks won. So it was a great day. Yeah, it was fun. Highlight for me was top golf. I've never played golf before other than with a putter and it was a ton of fun. Thank you, Joe, for, uh, thank you for, uh, treating us to that for the most thank part. You, Joe. It was awesome. Yeah. I enjoyed, really enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you, Joe. Another highlight was driving back with Joe and arguing about theoretical video games for like an hour straight. <laughs> oh my god! No, it was longer you than guys an didn't hour record straight. that. No, we should have. But you should was, have. Oh my god! Like it, it could have been its own episode. <laughs> yeah. what, what was the highlight of the argument? Like, well, we were talking about uh, first-person shooters, and we started talking about like what modern warfare was bringing to the table and what possibly battle the next battlefield game would do or would be. And, uh, I kind of started off thinking of what the developers could do to create a shooter that would keep us engaged all the way through, because we get to a certain point in a shooter and we're just like, eh. you know, we're tired yeah. of doing the same shit. So what could keep us engaged? And I threw in like an, mm, not like an MMO aspect of it, but like as far as statistics and bullet sponges and enemies with health bars and shit like that. But I threw in the aspect of, of um, like guilds and factions and uh, you know, you basically creating your own character as a shooter, kind of like what we're doing in breakpoint right now, but in a larger scale and strictly for first person shooter. So it's so, yeah. So what I took away from it is Joe wants a RPG online first person shooter, which I think is semi contradictory to itself. But we had an hour and a half conversation about it. So nice. But I didn't like I said, I didn't want the RPG aspect where it was like uh, like division where everybody has a health bar. No, it's still a first person shooter on a large scale, kind of like ground war is on modern warfare, but what you put into your character is the RPG element, not how your character acts or not the way the game plays is not an RPG, just the skill set. Um, yeah, the skill set and the weapons and the clothing and the market and everything. It, 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 it was pretty in depth. I, yeah, I really wish we would have recorded it, but maybe we can open it up some other time. All right. It's a big thing to open up. Yeah, a couple of things that we talked about were a lot of the things that it's like a lot of the things that were like, oh, that should be in this version of Joe's theoretical game is like a um, bunch of things that are already kind of somewhat in other games, like a class system where you talked about how Battlefield already has like your medic and your scout. And my point to that was like, well, then you're locked into what weapons you can use. And it kind of takes away from that open uh, openness of like Call of Duty where you can select any weapon for whoever you're playing so there were a lot of aspects from a bunch of other games that were thrown into that as well so 
it was just nice hearing because Miguel and I, when it comes to certain things, we're like on opposite ends of the spectrum, <laughs> like so, RPGs, like RPGs. <laughs> but it it was really interesting to hear like you know his rebuttal to the suggestion that I had, and we kind of just worked back and forth to figure something out. But cool, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah dive into it, that more in another episode. Oh, ready, I'll Chris? Yeah. <clears throat> No, I totally I enjoyed myself this weekend. I had I had a blast. I mean, um, you know, besides the fact that we lost against the Hawks, you know, good job. The Hawks. Good job to the Hawks. They did a good job at beating us for sure. Um you know, like like uh Joe was talking about last week, the bittersweet did hit me. I won my fantasy stuff. I did quite well against Arizona, but you know, that comes with defeat as far as the Cardinals go, but Hey, I got to see some um, historical moments with Fitzgerald. I got yeah. to see some historical moments with Kyler Murray making his first rushing touchdown. So, I mean, that Carson was pretty Palmer cool. In the Ring of Honor, yeah, Ring of Honor with Carson Palmer. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and then just hanging out with you guys. I mean, Top Golf was a big highlight. So thanks, Joe, for hooking yeah. that up. That was super cool. Yeah, so. it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I enjoy myself. I love playing golf. So I, I feel a little bit more confident in my golf game now that I can hit a straight drive. Yeah, absolutely. You drive solid, dude. Well, sometimes, not all the time. A lot more yeah, consistent and I than us. I, so. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but not I didn't going. know um, that it was Mike's birthday on Monday. So yeah, I didn't either. it was like, "Happy either. birthday, Mike!" You know, I wish I would have known. Yeah. We would have had a big, bigger deal about it. But uh, yeah, happy birthday! I, I didn't. Mike. I didn't know until Facebook told me. Oh, I didn't right. know either. Yeah, I usually we usually go to the face like he didn't know. No, I did know. <laughs> <laughs> we usually do this for his birthday, so it's oh like a, okay. It's an annual thing that I started last year, and we're just gonna keep it going. I started so. the year before. Yeah. Well, then, well, we were just following what you and uh, Doug, yeah. your, your guys' trend. So yeah. So we'll just keep uh, it going. Next year, I actually have a couple other people who want to join me uh, from work. So oh, uh, cool. Butters, Butters is talk. I talked to Butters, and he'd be down to go. Um, and then my uh, Anthony Poyas, he submitted a bracket for the. Uh, I don't remember what I called it. Sidekicks, side chicks. No, the death match one. I think he may have done sidekicks and side chicks one. The comic one, uh, yeah. But he's got a season. T- he's got. He's a sick season ticket holder for the Seahawks, and he likes going and seeing other games. So he said he'd be down to go next year too. Oh, cool. Good make it a party and they both listen to the podcast so hell yeah yeah that'd be sweet well, yeah so yeah it was a good time hell yeah it was it was super fun i enjoyed it man it was super yeah. fun joe did you have anything else i know you kind of just segued off what i said so um i i totally agree with everybody as far as everything um yeah it was nice just to to spend time together and have a good time and something that we'll probably never forget you know remember that time we were in phoenix blah 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 yeah um i i do have i I don't know it's kind of i was going to save it for what the fucks but the guy behind us okay we can segue right into the what the fucks i have one too that okay well then we'll we'll just segue this into the what the fucks go for it play the music chris (laughs) what the fuck anyway (laughs) And now, it's time for a What the Fucks for the Week. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> the guy sitting behind us, section 418, he was probably row, row 17, 17, maybe seat or eight or nine. You're playing an asshole. Yeah, no, you're an fucking <laughs> asshole. Dude, Cardinals fan? Guys, yes. You guys uh, call me Flippy Floppy, right? I have never seen fans flip on their team so hard than Cardinal fans. I don't even know if they should be called Cardinal fans because it's just ridiculous. I'm not saying all Cardinal fans are like this, but this guy sitting behind us wouldn't shut the fuck up. Oh, keep it classy, Seahawks. Keep it classy, Seahawks. Always do. They're always holding and no one ever calls it. It's Even so and so said that they always hold and they don't and they don't do anything about it and he said he's gonna keep holding and blah 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 blah. It's awful. 
Yes, Chris. This is why I don't read the comment section on our fan page. Yeah, because they're all fucking stupid. But I do yeah. notice that you do post shit because it always sends me a notification when you post comments on the Cardinals page. When they get on my nerves, <laughs> I will because it's fucking stupid. That's no, why. but I mean, uh, it was so frustrating. Mm-hmm. So frustrating. Just having to listen to that guy like behind us. Is... So, oh. so, yes, we had a good time, Chris, but we yes. were also listening to that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, and then his little. Year. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Last year after the game, the Cardinals fans were actually fighting each other. They were. We just left. We're like, let's get out of yeah, here. Yeah, we left, and I didn't see it until I saw it on Facebook later that they were there were people, Cardinals fans, throwing down in the Salty. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, when your team sucks forever, you get a little salty. No, I, I do want to point out a positive note that the uh, State Farm discount double-check State Farm uh, Arizona Cardinal Stadium – <laughs> um, is is a classy place. I yeah, mean, it's it's, nice. it's top notch. I love everything. Everything's organized. Everything's labeled. Um, you know, when we walked in, as soon as we got on the stadium level, it was like immediately to the right they had the beer cooler, which I was like, applaud, kudos. Yep. You know, yep. um, the fifty fifty raffle that they had going. Somebody won like fifty grand. Uh, Miguel didn't. Sorry, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but just everything, everything that they had, the way everything was, my only gripe was be the seats are a little bit tight. A little bit. You know? Yeah. Especially, especially when you have people that don't sit with their legs together, Chris. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but th- luckily yeah, at the end of the row, nobody had came in. So we all kind of like spaced out a little yeah. bit, but it was really cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it the last time I went when the Cardinals played the chiefs and, um, yeah, anytime you get a chance to go to the Cardinal Stadium, whether they're winning, losing, whatever, go. It's Just, fun. Yeah, it was a good time. It's a nice stadium. It's a real nice stadium. I was uh, mm-hmm. I kind of wanted the top, the roof open, but they had it closed. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, that hot closed. out? It was only like ninety. The, Which up here in Washington Phoenix- is hot. In Phoenix, Phoenix, that's like that's nothing. Cold. The yeah. whole time John was here, he was just like, it's so nice out here. I wish Washington would be like this. Like, you yeah, can move like, here and it could be your new Washington, John. Yeah, no. I'd have to take a gnarly pay cut to do that. I looked like that guy from Indiana Jones when his face melted, like, <laughs> I could not stop sweating. Jeez. And then, well, the funny part was it was 90 on game day and Doug was cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Doug lives in Mesa, and last year when I came down for the game, he picked me up from the airport. It was like 105. Picked me up from the airport, and he drives a black truck with no AC. He was wearing long black pants and a black T-shirt. We're like, what is wrong with you? He's like, yeah, I wear pants all the time. Like, and, yeah, so when it gets below 100, he gets cold. And then the one time he doesn't wear pants is when he gets stung by a scorpion. Well, he was in bed. He was asleep. <laughs> oh, so you're saying he should wear pants to bed too? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's a bummer for him. Keep but. your pants on, Doug. <laughs> Keep it classy. Keep it classy, Doug. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna my uh, what the fuck is uh, uh, Miguel's highlights? Fuck you, Miguel. My what? one highlight is this, and the other one is talking with Joe. Not hanging out with me, huh? Yeah, fuck you, Miguel. You touched Joe's ass, not mine, so, I mean, that's his highlight. Shh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I did that. I just don't remember it. How much did I drink at that point? I think you did it twice. <laughs> you actually did it at the game when I was, like, walking by. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Cause well, like a, it was like a good game. Yeah, it was a, it was when no, you know, was, when you're good game. It's like good game, not good game. I did definitely <laughs> did not do that. How, how do you know it was a good game? I had to friggin' the turn Seahawks your head the other winning. direct. I had to turn your head the other direction on a pick six because you weren't paying attention. I was, Hashtag me too. Look, think, John. <laughs> look. I think I was arguing with somebody about football, but I was right next to you, and you were. Lo- I don't know who you were arguing with. Probably Mike. Oh, yeah. But Mike was on the other side. Yeah, I was looking in that direction. You were behind me, and you had to 
get my attention and point me back towards okay. the, the, the field. I was looking at the next to me on the right. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Definitely do it again. Yeah. Miguel, do you have any what the fucks? Mm, at no. Least from, at least from the game, <clears throat> that aspect. Not from the game, no. Other than the guy sent behind you? Mm. Nah. Okay. Chris, do you have any what the fucks from the game? I mean, yeah, I think my one what the fuck from the game is just as a Cardinal fan, it's disheartening seeing fans leave like they spend their money for those tickets and they don't stay there for the whole thing. And you can yeah. just see them just like disappear. They're just melting away regardless of like if they won, we'd be partying like it was the fucking Super Bowl, but you know, fucking or yeah, they just I don't know. I feel like our fans are very, to me, they just embarrassing. To be honest, so yeah. it's, it sucks. Yeah, I will say, Doug made the comment. Uh, the whole thing at the stadium is "Rise Up, Red Sea," and the, all the Cardinals fans are the Red Sea, and, and it got to a point where all the Cardinals fans were leaving, and Doug's like, "Oh, it's the Red Sea. You later." Yeah, I thought that was funny. It's, it sucks. At that point, it was like. Yeah, it, it, it's sad because at the beginning of the game, they had this little cartoon uh, at the stadium where yeah. it those were cool. the, the Seahawk like putting the sign in the, the, the bird's nest, or the Cardinals bird's nest, saying new home of the 12th man or the 12th fan or whatever. And then, you know, and then there's like some Angry Bird shit going on anyway. Mm-hmm. But it's funny that the game ended that way because honestly, I heard more noise from the Seahawks fans than I did from the Cardinal fans. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, wow, this is, yeah. you know, because, you know, they have the C. Oh, oh. Not, you could hear that, like, constantly yeah. mm-hmm. through the game. The Cardinals fans did make some noise, like, on third downs, but, like, you're supposed to make noise throughout the whole game to, yeah. You guys got to come to CenturyLink Field. I don't want to. Yes, you do. Only if you pick us up in Seattle. Yeah, only if you pick us Why? up in the Seattle airport. <laughs> so, Chris, on the ride to the airport, John said, yeah, I would love to for you guys to come up to Washington, but fly to Everett. Don't fly to Seattle because he fucking hates Seattle. Um, and he's like, I'll pick you guys up, but I'm going to be, like, hating you guys the whole time when I'm there sitting at the airport. So yeah. if we do go, make sure that we fly in to Seattle so John has to drive to Seattle <laughs> and pick us up. Why? Why do you hate it, John? What's the What's the reason for? Because Seattle traffic is horrendous, like horrible. Yeah, and Everett Everett is fifteen minutes away from my house. Seattle with traffic is hour, maybe if if bad traffic's bad enough, maybe an hour and a half. It's forty five minutes with no traffic mm. to Sea Jack. Everett's gotcha. fifteen minutes. Gotcha. Hmm. And fuck Seattle. Traffic sucks. Just, just <laughs> Although traffic. you guys would get to see all the homeless people living under the freeway. Yeah, so man. There's a there's a highlight. Yeah, should have came to my Ridiculous. hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys got to come up. Go to Seahawks, whoever, at CenturyLink Field. It is loud. It is deafening. I'm sure. It's amazing. Huh. Let's not play not Arizona, stopped. though. Oh, this is nice. I'm just looking up flights right now. Um, I know this is for October, but flights uh, from a from Phoenix to PAE, which would be Everett, right? Yep. Yeah. Nonstop round trip, two hundred and thirty four dollars. Yep. Wow. I don't see how John can get to Everett in one flight. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, not bad. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, cool. So right. any other what the fucks? I I do have another what the fuck. Okay, those of you I live outside of Flagstaff. Uh, I live next to a truck stop, and uh, my mailbox, my PO box, is in the back of the the gas station or the truck stop. So I'm walking through, checking my. I'm gonna get. All right, I'm gonna check my mail. I walk through, and you walk through the convenience store, and on the way to the PO boxes is the restrooms. Door opens, men's room. 
Dude is standing inside the men's room, not in line, just waiting inside the men's room, eating yogurt. <laughs> I mean, going to town on this yogurt. And ew. I'm like, ew. Some what? Bre- that was like instantly like like Metal Gear started like, uh, what the fuck? Like, seriously, you're eating yogurt in the men's room? A little restroom and- yogurt? Nice. Oh, pilot? Yeah, I mean, it's like, let's sprinkle some Fremunda on top of that yogurt and make it a little chunky, you know? It's like, God damn, man. What yeah, the fuck? That's nasty. That is disgusting. I'm sorry. But any, and, you know, to kind of coincide with that, uh, I had made the comment, I had to piss from the time the game started, and I didn't get up from my seat because I didn't want to miss any of the game. Um, but as soon as we, Miguel and I went down to get the extra long chili dog the big <laughs> ass chili dog i'm sitting in line i just get my hot dog and it's like fuck i have to piss and i don't want to like miguel hold my hot dog while i go piss and i didn't want to go all the way back up to my seat put my hot dog down so i gotta go piss and go all the way back down so i just held it the whole time and i was like literally not, not the piss he pissed himself <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> nope i got strong bladder um no i didn't piss myself but I, I killed the hot dog. Um, but yeah, it was like when I did finally get to the bathroom, it, I swear to God, it was like Austin Powers. You know, the, what was it, Gold Member? This he, first yeah. one, the spy who shagged me. Oh, in in the fountain. Yeah, when he was oh. when he bit the asparagus. like yeah. He just kept going and going, yeah. Just kept going, and I was like, is this going to fucking stop? You know, it's like, Jesus. But anyway. yeah, that, that, you, that, you had two beers at the stadium. Yeah, I did. And we had beer before we left. The, yeah, the we hotel did. room too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they're, yeah, the beers at the stadium are like you the know tall they're not, boys. Like, they're not normal. They're tall boys, and I'm just like, mm. yeah. And everybody's looking over at me like, Joe, are you having fun? Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on not pissing myself. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. yeah, that's all I got for what the fuck it is jury duty of what the fuck. Oh. Not yet. We'll okay. see. Might be next week's. Okay. Chris? No, nope, I don't have any other what the fucks other than that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I've been, it's been pretty decent over here. So, John. Hotel you... food was not good. Not good hotel food? Yeah. The hotel was real nice. I, their breakfast was meh. Yeah. The waffles were good, but other than that, the yeah. eggs were meh. The potatoes were meh. awful. They were overcooked, and plus, they left the lid on the potatoes, so all the condensation like made them really soggy. So they were like this mushy, rubbery yeah. potato. And I didn't like the, the, the toast. Was good. Yeah, the toast <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but Top Golf's food was great. Oh yeah, Top Golf was fantastic. Those hot wings. Oh, the, the, nah. yeah, the mango habanero ones. They were good. They were spicy, but they were good. And I love the fact that Top Golf's pitcher has that stainless steel cylinder yeah. in the middle Kept to keep beer it cold. cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every glass you poured was nice and cold. Damn. Yep. Was, mm. Oh, uh, the mini fridge at the hotel. Oh, was Jesus. Whatever, whatever that mini fridge is, I recommend it because our beer was frosty. Yeah, it was it all, Magic it, Chef. Yeah, it, it basically ran the AC that was in the room, probably. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I swear. It, was, it was hard to yeah. hold on to my uh, Red Bull can in the morning. That's how cold it was. Yeah, I opened my monster and it was frozen. Yeah, Home Depot has them. I saw. I went to Home Depot today. They have them. They have a. They have a couple of them, ranging from like a hundred to one hundred and forty fifty or one hundred fifty bucks. So, like an upgrade, Joe. I well, I might take the door off the one I have and just. Put it on the fridge because <laughs> I like the glass front, so I can see yeah. what how much beer I have. I don't yeah. have to open it. Um, yeah, it kind of looked like Chris's in the background. So. Mm-hmm. But minus the ugly one. stickers. Well, get it out of here. Get out of here. And the, and nah. the real geese. And the real geese. The real geese. It's radiated. <laughs> so, all it right. Wins. So we're gonna move on down to our main topic of the week this week. We had Ghost Recon Breakpoint come out, and uh, looks like these three guys have experienced it this week. 
So, uh, Miguel? Hybrid moment! What the fuck, Ghost Recon? Um, still a little buggy. I have a ability as a sniper, John, that launcher that shoots... The the one that pings the enemies. I have not yeah. unlocked it. You get it when you pull select sniper, but okay. Oh. Um, but it right. it's I tried it. sometimes. One thing I noticed, yeah, there's Joe. One thing I noticed during the beta, it happened during the beta. Like, if you try to pull out that weapon, same as like a grenade. Like everything freezes. You can move. You can run. Can't switch guns. Can't shoot. Can't do anything. And that happened to me today twice in the uh, launch one. So just Mm. a little hybrid moment of what the fuck and what we're talking about, Joe. I don't have that problem because I have the disc. (laughs) You don't have that problem because you're a medic. That's true. That's a sniper issue only. How's that box smell, Joe? I was going to say, you sniff in that box? Mm, It smells delicious. (laughs) Smells like John Barenthal? No. (laughs) Yeah. There you go. I got the so those of you that are listening on the podcast, I got the collector's edition with the Barenthal statue. Um came on Tuesday. Um yeah, it was really cool. Don't drop it. I'm not. It's 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 PVC, so it's not gonna break. Uh the uh DMR or the sniper rifle and the pistol come off. Um it was really cool. I enjoyed Opening the box, it has a cool, um, like a display or diorama, kind of like my Assassin's Creed Odyssey one has. I just, I'm not using it. Um, it kind of like the Gears one I have? Yeah. It came with this really, really cool map. It's like paper and fabric. It's almost like, I don't know. It's like a this potato is the, sack. This is the rhythmic rubbing you heard earlier. It was me, by the way. Um, but it does have this nice map. And it's, it's high quality. Oh, it's upside down. Uh, it's high quality, and it's got a full detailed map oh. of the island. And it tells you, like, right where the, the center is, you know, like, the head office for the technology. So don't go there um, until you're higher level. But it's really <laughs> nice. Did you go there, Joe? Not yet. I was, okay. I was, I was probably guessing that you guys would have. No, that's um, also, not where we were when we got destroyed. It also came with the Cole Walker, who is John Barenthal's character. Um, I think this is the Ubisoft store exclusive. It came with his uh, Cole Walker's dog tag. Oh, that's cool. Thanks. So, um, and it also came with the game soundtrack. Mm, nice. Uh, yeah. So, all in all, collector's edition. Yeah, I love statues, so I'm I'm all in, especially Ubisoft. They do a great job with uh, when you pre-order ex- um, like Ultimate Editions. They get it to you early. So I was able to get it in there and install it and install it very fast on my Xbox because it was the disc and it wasn't over the internet. Um, yeah. But I I love the game. I can't, yeah. I can't say enough for it. Um, yeah, I love it. I can't wait to try the PvP. I'm waiting a little bit to, to up my character and try out the pvp i like the option of as you go along the game you're able to equip um like hats and vests and backpacks and stuff that the game provides for you and they have levels but on top of that you can put whatever skin you want to wear yeah so if you want to put all black like right now my character has all black on and a black mask so it doesn't matter what equipment i pick up i'm still wearing all black Mm. It has your your gear with the stats, yeah. and then it has cosmetics, and you can either go with whatever gear is equipped with your stats, or you can just put a skin over it with your desired cosmetics. So yeah, yeah. it's kind of like, like Fallout, that. Chris. I like that feature too because, like, at the beginning of the game, you get uh, you can pick up like random helmets, and they look stupid as shit. But so you can make it so that you have the stats from the helmet, but then you're still not wearing a helmet. Like my guy has a mohawk. So you can yeah, yeah I, I'm trying to save yes. up so I can unlock the kilt because I'm going to rock the kilt. a <laughs> boy. I'm going to rock it. So, um, yeah, anybody else got anything else to chime in on? One thing I really like about it is um, the ability to upgrade your weapons. So mm-hmm. you have to dismantle weapons to upgrade your weapons, but 
your weapons are leveling up constantly and you're constantly switching weapons. You find so many weapons that you find one 10 minutes later, it's obsolete and you switch to something yep. else. But if you use one type of gun, we'll say MP7, for example, and you upgrade your low level MP7 and you find another MP7, that upgrade will still be there. So you start with a Mark One, you do the upgrades, which there's like eight or 10 of them. Uh, then you move on to Mark II. But if you find a new weapon that's more powerful, that's the same gun, it's at Mark II as well. So I think that's a really awesome feature that because you find so much loot, you're not just like throwing away points on a weapon that you use and then it's obsolete and now you have to redo it all over again. So I thought that was a really cool thing that they put in there to make sure that you can up your weapons and the ones that you like but not lose anything by getting a new gun that's more powerful. So, Yeah, that is cool. Also, they, uh, so there's four classes to pick from. You can purchase all four classes like off the bat. It's one skill point. So you can have all four classes and just swap between them um, when you go back to a base. So I know yesterday John was asking, what should I be? And... He was going to pick something, and I said, just be a sniper, but you can buy all of them, be all of them from the get-go, so, no, so it works no, out. No, 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 rewind. Somebody was a little salty yesterday, and he's like, this isn't an MMO. You can be whatever the hell you want to be, and I'm like, well, so much? I was salty for other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I picked Medic. John has, what, Sniper, sniper. and Panther? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I haven't. I haven't spent it. I only... Uh, spent the skill point to unlock Panther. I haven't dropped any other okay. skill yeah, points I, on it. Yeah, so the the reason why I picked Medic was the, the fact that you could self-revive if your Medic bar is full, and one of the stipulations to fill the Medic bar is just to kill people. So I'm like, but, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't seems, need a special oh, weapon or anything. Wrong. It just says kills, and it's just like, fuck yeah, I'll just kill a bunch of people, and my bar will be full, and then when I die, I just boom. And I come back, so that's yeah. why I picked medic. Uh, I, I know it's. Go ahead, Miguel. I went to go revive Joe today because he was down. He's like, "Nope, I got it. Get away!" I'm like, all right, fine, Joe. I don't want to help you anyway. Yeah. Fuck you. yeah. I died so, right next to him, and he's like, oh, "I'll get you." I was like, "You're dead." And then I look at his body, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up and revives me. <laughs> so it's funny because a lot of the things that we're seeing in Breakpoint was like parts of the conversation that w- that Miguel and I had on the way back from Phoenix. Hmm. So, um, you know, like Miguel made a point of, I don't want to be stuck to one class, you know, and have one type of weapon this whole time. So, you know, this is opening up to where you, you do have to spend a skill point to unlock that class and you can have different loadouts. I think there's three, um, I but so. you, or you can have one, one guy and you can switch between loadouts so it's it's cool I, I chris i really hope you uh have a chance to download it log in and have have fun because it'll be a blast when all of us can get on and and you know. coordinate yeah i'm waiting till the point where we get Leroy. to where we guns blazing because john was obviously going guns blazing mm-hmm. um, <laughs> i actually picked a male character in this game but Backstory, I picked a female character, got to uh, Erwan, and then I was like, the female characters look like crap. I'm going to go pick a male character, because they look like crap. They look better. So you started over? (laughs) Hmm? Yeah. I mean, it was just Erwan, and I just grinded through it. I just skipped all the cutscenes. It took like 15 minutes to get back to Erwan. If there was any point where I was going to do that and restart, it was right there, because it was not far at all. Well, I think what's weird is that you both look the same. Yep. They both have mohawks, and they both have beards. We have the same taste in guys, okay? Yeah. (laughs) But Miguel's wearing all white, so he's fabulous. (laughs) I have a white t-shirt on. No, but you're not in all white like, like Miguel. I'm in all black, and I have a skull face mask, but he's like all white, glasses, mohawk, beard. John Mohawk beard, I'm like, mm. Mm. okay. So. I mean, at least I have a beard, so it's somewhat of a reflection of me. 
Chris, they have these cool mutton chops you should rock. Oh, cool. Sweet. I thought about doing the, what was the <laughs> old Dutch where he doesn't have the mustache? Oh, it's, it's just, just a, says, it just yeah, goes it's around. Just yeah, I thought about like doing that. Oh, this like guy. This. Yep. I will say, my, but, my beard is longer than the characters. As far as customization of your characters, like their appearance, there wasn't much to it. Whatever yeah. was in the alpha was basically the same exact thing. Hmm. Um, half of the characters look awful. Hmm. So, yeah, there's not much, not much to it. They look terrible. Like, the shape so, of their yeah. face is just bad. Half of them are Middle Eastern. Did you notice that? I did. Okay, there's like two Asian characters, four Middle Eastern characters, two white characters, and I think maybe one or two black characters. That's it. There's like four black characters. Oh, well, I didn't mm. see them. The lights were out. Yeah, so. but the only thing, the only thing you can customize <laughs> is their hair, scars, <laughs> and facial hair. And eye color. Eyes. Eye and color. eye color. And that's it. So it's not like you can adjust where their eyes sit, their cheekbones, any of that crap. You get a face, and then you can... Add scars, facial hair, eye color, and whatever hair you want. Hmm. And you can see your feet. That's a huh? joke. It's third person. Of course, you can see their feet. Even when you're aiming, you can see your feet. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, the graphics are great. Um, the gun control is great. Just the, yeah, how it feels and the mechanics are great. Uh, my only gripe is that one of the uh, some of the turrets on the cars are really slow. Like you, you're trying to aim, and if you got a dickhead of a driver who doesn't know what he's doing, and you're trying to turn, uh, he'll keep going, and then you got to try and turn back, and then he'll back up, and then you got to keep. Yeah, it's the slow. It's just really slow on most of the guns. You're, you're I, just I mad because he ran over more people than you shot. It's because he wouldn't hold still. And he's like, well, I'm not going to just let me there find like, every shoot. rock that I can so that John can't get a clean and even shot. Yeah, but Joe's getting shot while you're sitting there going. <laughs> so if, if, the, if the turrets moved faster, I wouldn't complain as much. But the turrets on the guns are really slow. And if John would listen and not shoot the helicopter. I heard shoot the helicopter. <sighs> okay, Joe said... And I quote, don't shoot the helicopter. I didn't hear the don't part. John shoots the helicopter and uses the poor excuse of, you said shoot the helicopter. He did. <laughs> did not. I didn't hear the don't part. Don't shoot the helicopter. <laughs> you had, you had to go halfway well. across the map, and that's why. Context, we needed to go to the other side of the map. So Joe's like, okay, well, take the helicopter. And I was thinking the same thing. Don't shoot the helicopter. Boom goes the helicopter. You said shoot the helicopter. <laughs> I heard shoot the helicopter. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. I'm excited to get back to it as soon as we're done with this podcast. Yeah. Sweet. Do you guys have anything else on uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Buy Play it. it. Play it. Add us as friends. All right. Cool. Sweet. We're going to move on over to Rando Shit. Do you guys have any Rando Shit this week before we close up? Yeah. Joe, what's up? Uh, rando shit. Let's see. I saw the Jeff Dunham stand up, the new one on Netflix. Pretty funny, actually. I thought uh, it was uh... it was all right, but you know, it was kind of like ha. But I haven't seen a Jeff Dunham stand up in so long, so I was like, cool. Uh, let's see what other rando shit. Um, Cardinal's owner passed away. I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So, uh, rest in peace. Was it Bill Bid- Bidwell? Yep, Bill. Yep. And uh, another rando shit. This happened. Those of you that aren't watching the video, I signed up for Disney Plus. So nice. Starting Monthly. November. Yeah, uh, no yearly. Uh, starting November twelfth, I got Disney Plus. Sweet. Me too. I'm um, trying to think. What else? What else? What else? Oh, rando shit. I spent the uh, the money, Chris. Uh, here is the All's Fair and Love and Gore, and I and I got all of the um, plaques fixed so there's no more brother labels on these if you can see and this one says um, Chris is a retard champion last year so sweet yeah cool that works dude <laughs> yeah and I added another tier because the winner of this year will go on the bottom tier so mm-hmm. nice shouldn't yeah. it build upward 
<laughs> Miguel, when you have your own fantasy league and you design the trophy, you can do a Stanley Cup version of it. And yes, you can do it to where it goes up. This one is going opposite because it's fantasy football and it's going down. So what is the uh, what's the league name? Like all's, it's backwards. I can't read oh, it. Oh, it says "All's Fair in Love and Gore" because oh, that's okay. that's where we work. So it's a gore league, and it's current and ex gore employees that are in the league. Nice. And it's a I'm 10, just saying ten team league. I'm just saying if you win next year, Joe, Chris is still going to be above you. No, it doesn't matter who's above who. Okay, it's not the fucking Stanley Cup. It's gonna be. It's a trophy. Your name's gonna be on it. I didn't. You know, I thought about it because they actually have like a mini Lombardi at the trophy place, and it's it's literally like eight inches tall, and you could have everything embroidered on it. It's silver and everything. But I was like, no, I don't want to do that. That's cool. So, hey Joe, um, when you guys get space in that league, let me know. Okay. Yeah, we like to keep it ten teams. What's up, John? So the winner gets to keep the trophy until the following year, or you just hold yeah. on to it? No, the winner gets the trophy, but Chris gave it to me so I could get it. I was going to okay. do it last year, but I didn't, so I'm, I'm doing it now. I have a photo uh, shoot with it pretty soon here. So, <laughs> so yes, um, we better like ch- cherish it now because it's probably going to be like waterlogged and crusty and sticky, and yeah, mm-hmm. by the next time he... <laughs> Where'd you get when that, Joe? Give, when he gives it up next year. Uh, it's called uh, the All Awards on Beaver Street. Beaver. So, and Beaver. <laughs> yeah. So but All Awards has a lot of fantasy trophies. They have the Lombardi. They have this one with the guy sitting on the uh, on the, the Lazy Boy. Yeah. The NFL player sitting on the Lazy Boy. Um, so they have this, this one, and you can customize everything. The base, the plaques, the writing, everything. So, well, that's pretty cool. That. And it wasn't expensive at all. It was not expensive at all. So, so he, I could I could have used my winnings from last year to do it, but I chose not to. <laughs> I spent it on a video game. <laughs> was it? Did it start with break and end with point? No, 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 no. I meant last or two years ago. Sorry, when mm. I won. When I won two years ago, nah, I spent my nah. winnings on a video game. Was As you should. No man sky. N- no. No. Man sky. No. Yeah. It was probably on one of the Assassin's Creed. One of those. Oh. Sweet. Does anybody else have any rando shit before we close up this week? Uh, I started watching The Boys on Amazon Prime. I got. Uh, I started watching the episode first episode and. Uh, I knew that this show was going to be somewhat graphic. Graphic. Well, more uh, the dark side of superheroes. So I knew it was going to be like some dark ish comedy stuff. It got there real quick. <laughs> got there real quick. And yeah, so I'm on uh, like halfway through episode two. I'm watching it slowly. But yeah, it's pretty entertaining. Nice. Sweet. Any other rando shit? Rando, rando, rando? Miguel, no? Mm, No, sir. I don't think so. No? All right. As a reminder, one week left. Submit your artistic stuff. Or we're going to quit, right? Or we're calling it and Earl wins. Earl wins. We shut the podcast off. Yep, we're calling it. No more podcast. <laughs> yep. Just gives us more time for uh, Breakpoint. There you go. Followed by Modern Warfare. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. until Modern Warfare comes out, and then it's like, that's it. It's just going to be like, until Cyberpunk comes out. You know, technical difficulties on two screens, at least, for Modern Warfare. I don't know about all four, but yeah. until Cyberpunk comes out. Then we'll be busy. If yeah. it's as good as they say it is. I mean, I might have a horse or two. It's got Keanu Reeves. Cyber horse. Cyber horse. Nice. I want horse legs. John, are you going to (laughs) watch The Witcher on Netflix when it comes out? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. Maybe. Fair enough. I don't watch a lot of TV. 
Well, in order to keep watching on Netflix, you have to like act like you're riding a horse. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go get one of those kids' toys. It's the horse on the on the spring. On the stick. Just... Yeah. No, not on the stick. It's got the base. It's got springs on it. No, John will be on the stick. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh, it's a horse, of course. Oh boy. Yes. All right, well, I think this is going to wrap up episode number 145. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games. I am out. Peace. This is John. I'm going to go see if my family's still watching Lord of the Rings, and then I'm going to play video games. I'm out. This is Miguel. Breakpoint. This is Joe. I'm going to eat some tacos, and then Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Game on. Game on. Game on. Bye, Felicia's. See you soon. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Gamer Talk Podcast, Season Fucking Two. She's watching.